This short video is going to take us through some of the modeling tools that are available with an Insight to create an indoor floor plan. We're going to keep the defaults at 0 and 3 meters. So here's my modeling grid. First, I'm going to change it to a 5 meter grid. I'm going to locate the point 0, 0. I'm going to hold the shift key. I'm going to drag this down using the left mouse button. You can see here the faint outline of our floor plan. So now I'm going to zoom in using the control key and the left mouse button, I'm going to change my grid spacing to one meter. First I'm going to create the outer walls. And right click to finish my wall. And now I'm going to add a doorway. I'm going to keep the width of the doorway at one meter. I can place it on any wall that I've just created, but I cannot just place it anywhere in space. Here you can see the different layers of the wall. The upper portion of the wall from 2.7 to 3 meters is made of layered drywall, and the lower piece is made of free space. If I click on this with the left mouse button and then right click, I can edit the wall segment, I can change the height of the door, or I can select a new material. So for example, I can go in here into our database and select wood to actually create a door in that wall. I can do the same thing to create windows on the outer wall. And now I'm going to create a small cubicle in here. Once again, I'm going to create it two meters long, one meter down. If I hit the right mouse button on top of this wall, I can edit the wall profile. So once again, I can hit the right mouse button, I can edit the wall segment, and I can change the type, I can change the top from three meters to 1.5 meters tall. I click OK. Let's view what I have started in our project view. You can see here that I actually didn't change both walls, I only changed one, but I can correct that in this view by going to Select Face. I can select this wall, hit the right mouse button, go down to Properties, and I can see the vertices right here. If I view the vertices, you see I have a 0, a 0, and two 3 meter vertices. So if I double click on them, I can actually edit the vertices directly. Clicking OK and going back to our wall, you can see here I have now a two 1.5 meter walls, two windows, and a door frame. Now after applying some of the basic skills that I've just shown, you can build up a more complex floor model such as this. So let's flip over and we can see our completed indoor model. 